What's up everybody? Uh, today's project is fixing a water pump. I uh, woke up this morning and didn't have any uh, water in the house so come out here and uh, I think our culprit is that right there. These are the points for your uh, water pump. I can't, don't know if y'all could tell it or not but those right there cook pretty good. These on this side are decent. But as you can tell those right there are cooked so uh, we're going to show you how to replace a pressure switch on a water pump so I'm going to get my tools round up and we're going to get knocking this out so stick around alright went and got my tools I'm thinking all we're going to need today is a flat tip screwdriver and uh, adjustable wrenches on these up under the bottom of this is a, uh, a fitting for the uh, pressure switch. What it does is this, this tube lets it know how much pressure it's got. This pressure switch I got is uh, 20 to 40. Uh, yeah, 20 to 40 psi, depending upon the size of your pump, all that other stuff. What you need. Uh, Need to make sure you disconnect the power, of course. If I need to tell you that, you probably don't need to be working on it. But, uh... The wind's blowing a little bit. I'm hoping my camera's hit enough to keep it from getting a whole bunch of wind noise on it. This pump here's, uh... 120 volts That's the only thing that holds the pressure switch to the pump and all it is a little lock nut and the two wires just to slide right on out just like that You want to hang on to that. I'm not sure if the other one comes with it and we have a beautiful little black widow spider on the bottom of it. Let's go ahead and dispatch her in a human, humanely way. Uh, that just rotates off. Just like that. And that right there tells you how much pressure is coming from the pump and it tells you can adjust your pressure by uh, tightening and loosening that bolt. What you got to do now is just get your whip disconnected from the old pressure switch. Just like that. And just like the other one, you got to get this lock nut off. Which probably would have been a whole lot easier done. Would it still hook to the motor? You got one that's kind of tight. If you put your screwdriver on it like this right here and smack it. That normally works. Except in this case. I don't know if that was on camera or not, but I took my pliers and put it right here and turned it. Save that lock nut. This is the uh, replacement. Uh, it does 120 volts or 115 and 230 volts. Just depends on how you wire it up. Is what. Uh, what the usage is going to be on it. As you can see, it looks just like the other one did. Put your wires back through here. Put my 
lock nut on backwards. It really don't matter in this situation, but. Got my bees flying around there. I'm gonna mix some sugar water up. Probably do a video on that too. This one actually's got two ground screws on it just like the other one did, but the reason why you're only using one is because there's no ground coming off the windings on the motor. Just wrap your wire around. If you're using stranded wire, it's always a good idea to uh, twist it together. That way when you tighten it down on stuff, they don't spread out. And I always try to wrap it in the direction that your screw tightens down. Just like that. And just like before, this one should be the same way. Loosen up your outside screws for your power. Wrap your wires back tight. I didn't put this pump in when I moved in this place. Somebody else did it. Get my tug, make sure they're tight. Uh, see how that wire's stripped right there? Something you got to look out for. It. I didn't bring my pliers with me and I can fix that where it won't hit anything. And there that is. Run these wires back through here. Well, while I'm thinking about it, put this back together. Normally if you got uh, something like this, you put Teflon tape on it, but being it's plastic, I normally don't. You don't want to over tighten this because you will break it. And being there's not going to be a whole lot of pressure on it, I'm really not worried about it. Air leaking or nothing. That's my dog barking. Hold on just a minute. All right. I'm back at it. What I did was tighten this down real good. And uh, pretty much just put your wires back where they were at. Some people put these connectors on here, but I don't really see the, the point in it. Because that's just me. It makes it look a little cleaner, but it's a water pump. So there that is. What we're going to do now is hook the power back up to it. And get her going again. And hopefully this is going to fix it.
All right, so to close this video on out, all you gotta do is put the cover back on it. Just like that, tighten it a little screw up. That's how you change out the water pump pressure switch on a 120 volt pump. Hope everybody's doing good. We'll see you on the next one.